Hey y'all. I just went to Walmart. To Wally World. I live in such an area that there must not be any gay people for miles and miles and miles and miles. I have my cute little leather jacket on. My hair is big and curly. It's super windy. But I swear to God, like, people around here has never seen a gay person before. Because they can't help themselves but stop and stare and gawk. And so many, they're rubbernecking, if you know what that is. If you know what a redneck is. Okay, well, a rubberneck is like when you whip your, your neck around, you break your neck trying to see what's going on. And, uh... Yeah, me just shopping in the store. I can't believe how many people, like, gawk and stop and stare. But people are just mad, ignorant, disrespectful. Put some respect on my name. Uh, people really drive me crazy because... I don't know, they're ignorant and they're rude and they're entitled. And nobody says, excuse me, you know, when they go past the thing. Look, they're Sal's. I used to work at Sal's forever ago. When I was 17 years old. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Me and my sister had both worked at Sal's. Here's Sal's from a side look. Sal's in his Italian ristorante. It's really uh, delicious. It's really good. Comida de Italiano. Okay, so it's just funny to me. Like, people who have staring problems, that sort of kind of cracks me up. But also, I don't know if my camera's in a weird space. Like, what's going on? Um, yeah, people don't have manners. People are rude. People are entitled. I had drove through Taco Bell and got a chicken quesadilla before I went into Walmart. And I'm headed to go see my grandma right now in the nursing home. And, uh, the way that people have, like, just... Okay, staring problems, yeah, that's annoying, but whatever I'm cute and I'm something to look at but as far as like people just being blatant and disrespectful and not having manners everyone is in a rush to go nowhere it's quarantine people social distance wear your mask take your time like I don't get there is no rush oh but here's the thing I've seen so many like near uh accidents and like crashes in the Walmart because of people like staring at me or like walking and gawking and whatever and uh even when I left I was sort of parked by a buggy return like a shopping cart and this man was like gonna return his buggy to the thing and he's looking at me or staring and he almost got hit by a car <laughs> like seriously seriously come on iPad work with me uh, it's not gonna work with me oh my god I'm here at, at um, Croft this is I'm at the nursing home where my grandma lives I have a struggle bus Oh, there we go. Um, it's a really nice day. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's Linda Evangelista. Yes, I have my black leather jacket on. I feel badass with this jacket, first of all. Too cool for school. I have never been cool in my life. I was always... A, a nerd, a dork, a geek, a whatever you want to call. Like, I read Harry Potter. I hung out with the artistic, freaky, weird kids. But, yeah, with these sunglasses on and this curly hair is popping, I don't know what to tell you. If you know, you know. And, uh, get into this gig -rama. There's no service where my grandma is, the nursing home. It is a dead zone due to, uh, excuse me, due to an airport or something or other that they have satellite blockers. So it's like crazy. 
this morning. I did not sleep last night. I was up till 5 a.m. Oh my God, struggle bus. I got my green tea that I love, love, love. I had my cat in my bedroom, Toby, and I should not have done that because uh, my allergies get all flared up with him. And he sheds really bad. And I need to cut my nails. They're really freaking long right now. All for you, Jordan. I know you love it. I'm just kidding. I'm being a smart ass. I, just, I blocked that bitch everywhere. I get so annoyed too. People, t he's trying to tell me that my nails are gross. I have really beautiful hands. Not to blow my own horn or toot my own whatever. But my hygiene is good. Like... I don't even have dirt under my nails, okay? Because I keep them clean. Um, but yeah, I do plan on cutting them today. My nails and hair grow because I take hair, skin, and nails. But I have not taken it in a long time. I ran out a while ago. Um, my last couple bottles I gave to Debbie that I was working with. Debbie from Alabama, which I hope she's doing well. I wish her all the very best. I miss picking on her and teasing her because she has a really heavy southern accent. And I love accents. I love to impersonate, imitate accents. And I'm pretty good at it. But, yes. But yeah, my visit with Grandma's at 1 o'clock. I won't be able to post this video until way, way later, guys. So I don't think I'm still here now because I'm not. Again, like I just said, there is no reception up here. There is no uh, cell phone service. Doesn't matter what thing you have. You know, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, AT&T, whatever. Cricket. I don't even know if they make Cricket phones anymore. There's a new phone I keep seeing advertised, like a cheap thing. I can't think of what it is. But like Walmart got phones, I think. I think Best Buy's got phones. I think it's funny too because this hair. I like. I love my hair when it's big and curly. I do. I like it fluffy. I don't like it frizzy. Milo's. Would you guys say this as Milo's or Milo's? Milo and Otis. Is that like a really good movie? Oh, I was eating my chicken quesadilla earlier because the Taco Bell up here is brand new. It used to be Taco Bell KFC two and one. Now they separated, so now there's like a new Taco Bell. And my quesadilla, the sauce, dripped out onto my pants. It says that this is available on gallon sizes. They make sweet iced tea and lemonade. Limonada. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna get off this thing so I can go visit Grandma. I need to figure out a better video production. When you do uh, any kind of video or on your phone or whatever, whether it's high def, high quality, whatever, whatever you like, honey, we do for you. Um, lighting is everything. Like having bright lighting or outside natural lighting, it makes the picture look better. It makes the quality look better. You could like see my five o'clock shadow. I think that I shaved yesterday or the day before. I don't know, everything grows so fast. But check out my hair. I have to do this visit with Grandma and it's a window visit. And everyone keeps putting on Instagram their freaking vaccination. I don't know why they're doing that. This is my vaccination, okay? I had the Pfizer. I had my first one the end of uh, January and then I had my other one the day after Valentine's Day. But I had to go to Butler Hospital to get mine. And thank God I had the job I had because I don't meet any of the qualifications. I'm not important enough. But I don't even think I'm important at all. You know, when you have a job and they're like, oh, you're essential. Since when? <laughs> Since when it's convenient for you. Or not for somebody else. This uh, lemonade is good. Milo's or Milo's. Check it out. It's decent. It's like not like the best I've ever had, but it's it's sweet and not sour, which is good. You know, sometimes uh, a lemon can be tart. Did you notice my hair in the sunlight is looking really red? I look super duper like my mom. 
because she has curly hair. She never wears her hair curly, but her hair is curly like this. I like my eyes. When there's natural lighting or good sunlight, I have really dark, intense eyes. And people used to tell me I made them uncomfortable because I would make eye contact and they'd think, oh, you're staring at me with them deep, deep, dark, piercing eyes. And my eyes are kind of beady and like they're set deep into my head. But, uh, so I try not to like stare at people because I was always taught when you're having a conversation with somebody, you make eye contact because if you're lying, you can't like look in their eye. Either you blink or you look away, you look up, you look down, da, 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 da. So I always used to be told like giving someone eye contact, that's like giving them your attention, but also your respect. And yeah, I never mean to make anybody uncomfortable. That's not my intention, but hey, I'm awkward and weird and I make everyone uncomfortable, I guess, everywhere I go. And it's it's also funny too, cause I'm on Grinder, but like I'm not on it right now, currently at the moment, but it's funny cause I go a lot of places and I th sometimes think I see people off the app, but like I don't know. Cause everybody on there is a torso with no face or no head. It's just like a torso of abs or a torso of flab or whatever. And, uh, I sometimes wonder if that's why people are staring and, like, whipping around, breaking their neck, trying to be like, oh my god. Because the thing that used to always happen to me, this hasn't happened recent, but people used to always believe I wasn't real. Like, you know, I have a profile, you have a Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. But, I gotta go, guys, because I'm getting in a phone call right now. Bye.